hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and today we are going to see how to create a very simple uh, jumping text intro in after effects so it's very useful and is very uh, kinetic to enter your uh, editing field so i think uh, if not yet subscribe my channel just subscribe my channel for a very simple uh, text animation and logo animation for uh, uh, beginners and so i hope you will like this tutorial so let's go to the now so now uh, it is a text uh, text in a uh, based of animation so so right click here and you add a text layer and now type what what you want i text i type a text animation so we're going to animate this text so you can here you can see the anchor point is down so if we move to the uh, if we can manually select this uh, pen paint and check point tool and hold the uh, sorry hold the control and click into the drag into the center of your object so it's a manual type and i will show you the shortcut and if you want to make make the anchor point to center of your object in the keyboard control alt and home if you press the control alt home in keyboard anchor point will be center of your object and again you can uh, center of your image into the your frame i mean your object if uh, control and home if you press the control home your object will be center of the user frame the first one will be uh, your anchor point was center of your te text or your object okay so don't uh, mess with this two thing so keep it and it's very useful because it's very reduce your consumption time consumption so okay cool and now uh, down here the arrow mark you can see here you can see the animate uh, tab you can right click here you can see the add uh, three tra we can took the uh, we can do two three type of, uh, of of properties the first one will be a scale and again go to the add uh, anchor point and again go to the animated you can add a uh, opacity so here you can add uh, three kind of years so you can uh, reduce the value zero and op opacity will be zero and now you can see nothing so you can to be guess at a keyframe for your animations so where you can go to be added so in this animator uh, you can see the range selector tab and down here you, you can see the offset value so if you increase the offset value you can get a animation so you can give the keyframes in here so let's uh, make the sure if your timeline is starting and turn on the timer and the offset value will be minus 100 and move to the two second and make the value will be 100 now play this video you can see that your text will be animated but it is not our uh, exact animation for this tutorial so you can get a bit of adjustment here so go to the uh, animated tab you can see the advanced so turn out here you can see that uh, the shape will be square here you can change to ramp up now play this you can see start to end will be show up but uh, in in your tutorial you're going to make that uh, will be a jumping text so you're going to adjust in the that properties the anchor properties you can give the value will be 500 now play this you can see the text will be like a wave effect but uh, you can get but uh, you can get a randomizing text individual you can get a better view so here you can have a option for that the randomize of after uh, order so turn on here now play this you can get a individual letters from randomizing is it content by your system i mean software if you can adjust this value here you can adjust the value you can get a variety but it just doesn't matter otherwise it will randoming only so now play his you can get a randomizing 
and the final touch will be the uh, little bit shaking effect uh, the important thing to is going to be added tab and the properties and the tracing this is uh, the final step of this animation the tracing and now uh, give the value in the tracing amount will be 50 now play the video uh, but I think your animation will be very slow. So think uh, select the keyframes and hold the alt in your keyboard and move forward to the starting keyframe. Uh, now I think it will be very fast, but it is too bit of slow. Make it quick. Uh, it is the between of your distance will be uh, reduce your speed. If you have a minimum uh, distance in your keyboard, your animation will be fast. If you have a far from the, if you have a far even keyframes, the animation will be slow. Make it sure how long and how fast your animation you want. I think this will be good. You can you can see that uh, the text will be come out backside from the. You can see that because of the opacity will be. Uh, 0 to 100 make a depth uh, illusion so it's very useful for this here and the anchor point will be allow it uh, 1 0 to up uh, I'm going to make the and the upper height uh, position values and the scale will be allowed to the uh, animation bit of so this is a uh, three properties will be going to use this uh, one, I mean so this option here so now play this you can see that okay now you can add a bit more uh, motion you can turn off this in your layer you can see that motion if you have the animation it will be allow the motion spray so now you play this your animation introduction will be ready so you can don't worry if you done this animation or you can done any variety of animation in your text we need to get a preset of your text animation for you using in premiere pro or other uh, after effects for, so project file you go you can get create a pre uh, pre template for these animations and i will put the description i mean put the tutorial in description link so just check it out if you want the how to create a preset in your animations so i will show you how it is using and if you create a preset from uh, already you create a preset i first delete the animator go to the defect and preset panel and type what name you given i give the jumping text so if you tag into a player you will get the and the animation immediately so you can don't worry if you done this animation you make sure you can create as a, a pre template you can use in many time after a day and after month after a very projecting and you can to be give your friends or your colleagues so it's very useful thing i think so if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe my channel and like the come uh, bell icon and give your comments and thank you guys have a nice day bye